hey guys this is hakim welcome back to the channel so in today's video we'll be looking at a sync storage for react native so stay tuned so what's a sync storage a sync storage is a library that allows us to um, persist data in our user device so if you have some data that you want to save in the user device a sync storage is a library to go with so to get started over here i have a react native app with an input with a button of save name and a button of delete name so the end goal of this video is to be able to input a name save the name and also delete the name and note you want to be able to um, retrieve the name from the user's device so to get started with async storage we are going to visit um the website so this page over here and the first thing we are going to install the package so i'm going to copy this command and i'm going to paste it in the terminal so right here i'll hit enter and it's going to install it so after installing it you have to um link it for the boot platform so if you're working with ios you run this um command port install so i'm going to get the command and also run it hit enter then also for the android i'm going to get this command and it's done installing for ios and for the android i'm going to say npx and i'll paste the command to link the package so it has link it for android so now we have the package installed get started we are going to import the package and to import the package i'm going to go to this usage then i'll copy this and i'm going to paste it over here so this is going to import the um, package so a scene storage comes with a method called set item so this method is going to be used to save the data inside the user device and it has another method called remove item so we are going to use this method to remove the data from the user device so firstly as you can see if i type my name it's actually going to show up over here that's because i'm getting the text from the user input i'm saving it in a state over here and also i'm rendering the um, text over here so now if i load the app we are going to lose this name because we've not saved the name inside the user um, device so to get started i'm going to create a function called um, save name so this function is going to be responsible for um, saving the user name. So I'll say const save name. This is going to be a sync function because a sync storage actually returns um, a promise. So over right here to save, we are going to say a sync storage dot set item. So we are going to wrap it inside a try and catch. So say try catch. And in case of error, I'm just going to console log it. So for the set items, it takes in two parameters, the key. So this key is sort like a name you give to it, which is going to make use to um, retrieve the data later on. And for the other um, parameter, it's just the data you want to pass. So for the other parameter, which is actually the data, you must have to pass in a string. So if you have some data type such as array or object, you have to um, use a method called json.stringify to stringify it. Then later on, once you need the data back to the original um, type, you just use this one dot pass to um, pass it back to the original data type so right here i'm just going to give it a um, key of app data i'll say app data then for the value i'm just going to pass in the text we get from the user um, input then over here i'm going to get this save name method and i'm going to hook it up to this um, save name button now if i type in a name so let me type in my name and hit save so this has saved it to the user um, device right now but if i reload the app as you can see we still don't have the name that's because we've not retrieved the data from the user device and to do that i'm going to create a function called um, get name const get name this is going to be a sync function also then I'll wrap it inside a try and catch and over here we'll say a sync storage dot get item so to get the item we have to pass in the key we use in setting the item which is this app data so i'm going to pass in the key and over here i'm just going to call it name and we're going to await this um data then over here once we get the data we are going to um set it to the user's text so say set text and pass in the um name so we want to run this function once we run the app so we are going to make use of use effect say use effect i want it to run once 
then over here we are going to call the function get name so hit save as you can see we've run the function and also we've um, gotten the name hakim so now we want to be able to delete the name so we want to be able to get rid of the name from the user and device also i'm going to create a function called delete name so we don't care if this is going to be a sync function because we are not going to await for it to delete we're just going to delete it and to delete it we'll say async storage dot remove item i'm passing the key which is app data so now i'm going to get the function and i'm going to hook it up to this delete button and after we delete it we want to clear the um the text state so right here we say set text and give it an empty um string so now if i click on this it's going to delete the name as you can see and also if i reload the app as you can see we have no name in the um, device so there are some couple of method in the website which you can actually make use of this is just an overview of the library so that will be all for the video if you find the video helpful please like and share and also if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe turn on post notifications so that you get notified the next time i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next video thank you